Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, and we are here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from that unfortunate pile that got laid away for about four years before I got to them. So I'm sure Leon has uh, figured out what he needs to do. This question has to do with a little piece of test equipment. It says, Dave, watched your video on the testing of the GT5R. Baofeng using the Clean RFSK. How did you set up the Clean RF unit? In other words, did you have the variable control all the way counterclockwise or all the way clockwise? And thanks from Leon K8 Zulu Alpha Golf. So let's take a look at what we've got here. I've got this set up right here. This is around this thing. It's called a CleanRF.com Variable RF Sampler and it's model RFS2K. Now, here is the problem with a spectrum analyzer. This is my spectrum analyzer right here. I bought this used from N6GR, uh, Brad down in Alamogordo. And I've got this set up so that it goes from one megahertz to 1.5 megahertz. What we're gonna do is we want to take the RF out of this and put it into here. Now the problem is the maximum input for this thing right here is only 10 dBm. That's one one hundredth of a watt. Okay, so if we fed this straight into there, it wouldn't go. Now one way to do it is to put some sort of antenna here and then use this with the antenna. There are even those who say that you aren't really testing the entire radio system if you test just the radio, because the radio will interact with the rubber duck, which is usually not a very good load for a radio like this, which could cause more. In that case, what I do is use this tiny spectrum analyzer right here, because what I can do with this that's really cool is it comes with a little antenna that you can put into the RF in and then when you turn this on it's a spectrum analyzer in its own right and right now nothing's attached so it's not doing anything there so you can see that if I transmit this would pick something up okay and this is what I normally use but when I want to do really more accurate work than just what this can do for me I use this spectrum analyzer. Now, like I said, it can only take up to a hundredth of a watt or 10 dBm. So that's where this piece of equipment comes in. It's from cleanrf.com. That's the web address. Variable RF sampler model RK-S2K, which leads me to believe you can put up to two kilowatts through this. So if you look at the main through thing here, I've got a little bit of a coil on the radio. This is a GMRS radio. Okay, and then the rest of it coming out of it goes into my dummy load. Okay, now this thing takes a little sample of the RF and feeds it into here. Now I've not opened this up to see how it does it because it's actually riveted closed and I don't have any riveting equipment so I would not be able to close it again. So we'll just use it as it is. Now there is a little knob here that's a variable attenuator. It does not attenuate by very much. We'll just put it into the middle. And I would, I initially thought it'd be plus or, you know, 10 dB range or something like that. So let's turn this on right here. And this is a Redivus radio. Okay, and it's on a GMRS frequency right now. Now I'm using a dummy load. All right, so if I hold this in transmit, here is what we see here at the base frequency we see where you would expect that. Okay, about 462 megahertz. And then this is the second harmonic right there. I think it'd be easier just to look at the second harmonic. I've now turned it all the way up. Okay. And now I'm turning it all the way down and you see it drops a little bit. So about, it's not even 10 dB in the amount here. Now this comes up to a little bit above zero dB, okay, which is a, a milliwatt. And then this over here is 45 dB down from this, which is not 
bad for a Chinese radio. So anyway, I would look at this kind of a figure like this. The third harmonic would be over here somewhere. It would be on the screen. Okay, so that's uh, 450 would be about 900. 900 plus another 450 puts it up real close to the top right here, and I don't see any uh, third harmonic. So this is how you sample a signal that you want to go to a spectrum analyzer. Now, the oscilloscope is very different. The oscilloscope, these are infinite impedance inputs. Okay, so the input itself will not drag... Uh, the signal down. In fact, one of the accessories that you have for it is a dummy load so that you can make it look like it's going into 50 ohms. You can put as much as 100 volts into one of these things and still be able to see what's going on because a regular oscilloscope is essentially a voltmeter. Now, this spectrum analyzer is actually more of a power meter, okay, and it gives you the power down in decibels relative to a microwatt. The zero right there is the microwatt there. And then this is a hundredth of a watt. And this is 20 dB above that. When you get up to 30 dB, that's an entire watt. Okay, so everything stays within its... Menu. Let's just look on the web and see what we can find. They have the demodulator, a sampler, and an AM modulation monitor. What we're interested in is the RF sampler. So let's look at the products here. We've got the 2K variable RF sampler. That's uh, this thing right here, okay? It's $90 plus, of course, taxes and shipping and stuff like that. And it tells you all the little things that uh, happen over here. Okay, the controls give you, it says here, a variable RF output of 6 dB. That's not plus or minus 6 dB. That's just 6 dB. 6 dB means you can double the signal and then double it again for a factor in terms of just regular numbers of four times. So it just adjusts it a little bit. The sampler output is minus 60 dBm at 15 megahertz, okay, rated input up to 2,000 watts PEP, and the frequency response up to, it says 30 megahertz. Now note, I was using it on uh, UHF, but it still works very, very well. There is another RF sampler that goes up to four kilowatts, and then this right here is a variable and an RF demodulator, okay. So then there is one more, another, well, another RF demodular, and then a variable RF sampler and RF uh, demodulator combo. And they've got all kinds of these little things, AM modulation monitor, so on and so forth. So they've got all kinds of things in here. The one I am using is the 2K one right here, which again, $89.95 or $90.00 plus tax, plus shipping will run you a little over 100 and do okay, you can pay, including using PayPal if you want to, okay? So Leon, there you have it. What we have is a little instrument that will sample the signal that's coming out of the radio all the way down so that it maxes out about zero dBm or one milliwatt, okay? And then you can see the relative relationship of all the harmonics or mixing spurs or whatever you might want to be able to see in there. I have found this to be an extremely useful instrument when I want to look closely at the spectrum. I don't need it for the oscilloscope. I don't have anything that goes high enough to cause a problem with the oscilloscope. And to get a view of the entire unit with its antenna, I use the Nano uh, VNA right here. Okay. So there you have it. Until we next meet, 73.